Oh, well, good afternoon, everybody. It is probably the first footage of the day because Jessica is not feeling good right now. She is in bed. The minor contractions that she is having are gonna turn into bigger contractions and we are not packed or ready for anything right now. We are in <laughs> T minus nothing accomplished mode. I've been out the whole day so far, cutting and selling and splitting wood, and I just got home and now I'm gonna head out to go get food. I think we're gonna get Kentucky Fried Chicken, not a paid sponsor. <laughs> He's been in bed just laying there and I feel really bad because I want her to be moving around and active. As soon as she does feel better, she's gonna have to pack a, a bag, whatever. I have to call my sister, see if she can watch both the kids for us while we're having the baby to the point where we're in crunch mode and we are not ready to crunch. I was cutting wood in hail, just, just so you know. It was hailing as I was cutting wood. It, it's not my favorite thing to do. I don't like to cut wood in the rain. Uh, Journey and I are gonna go get food, right Journey? You want to go get food with Daddy? Yeah, I'm watching bees, but... We'll stay here and watch bees? You want to go get food with Daddy? Oh, food with daddy. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this goes, because I really don't have any dry wood. Okay, good. Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah! If not, you're doing very well. I'm not afraid. Yeah, you stupid. Get it. I'm gonna suck on my fingers. Whatever. What? What? Stop saying my name, you're wearing it out. Stop saying, stop it, not good. Not dead. Dead! Yeah. Picking on me over here, this one. Who is she? she she's doing in this car. Kick her out now? She's, she's dipping. Journey, you ready to eat yum yums? Don't, don't talk to her. Happy Tuesday. I am here at my friend's house. We are going to do another little girl's date because this is probably one of the last ones that I'll be able to do before I have the baby. So I thought I would hang out with the girls for a little bit. I had a bunch of errands I was going to run. I have meal plans for the week. I was going to head to the mall and get the baby's first outfit. I had a huge list to do while I was down the hill. Well, Tyler and I realized late last night we completely forgot that we have a hospital tour tonight so that we can go see the hospital that we're having the baby at. And Tyler got balls to go do wood and give an estimate. And we promised you guys that when we had any type of pregnancy things going on, as far as having the baby, we would do some updates on Snapchat. So uh, we did yesterday. I will insert the clip here. Good evening. I promised that I would give you guys some pregnancy updates as they were happening. So here I am. <laughs> And this is legit how I feel right now. <laughs> it's so ugly. So I started having really, really mild contractions last night. Not painful at all. Like definitely tolerable. And then I got to this morning and the baby's moving around so much and pushing my ribs out so much that it was making me really nauseous. So I laid down and then here came the actual painful contractions so i'm just kind of laying here suffering it out but nothing has been consistent at all so this better be a false alarm because i have not packed my bag i have not washed and put away the baby's clothes i haven't even registered at the hospital yet and i'm pretty sure that my children are trying to kill me They've been running around the house like this. That's Journey in the front, Talon in the back. They've been running around the house destroying everything because they can clearly see that I'm not getting up. I'm pretty sure I just saw Journey walking by eating Oreos and Talon walked by the door and took his diaper off. Mm. You might be asking yourself, where is your husband? <laughs> you clearly need help. And he is delivering wood and cutting down trees. I felt that this filter was best. And I'm going to be honest with you. If he doesn't come home with some good comfort food, I'm probably going to have a full breakdown. <laughs> I 
I had some pretty painful contractions yesterday, but it was nothing consistent. It was just painful. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning and kind of just laid there and Tyler and I were talking and I had a couple more and I was like, okay, nothing's close in time or anything. So I think we're good. And so I felt pretty good about getting ready and leaving. I'm gonna go have some breakfast now. Okay, bye. Can I just point out how good Jen's dogs are? <laughs> behaved and then we have this whole girl set up and I mean I guess not for girls guys could have it too if they like pink donuts we got bagels and donuts and then what are these like okay we have baby omelet thingies Jennifer Jessica orange juice oh Bo. coffee Bo. look at that strawberries Bo. mandarins Bo. this is amazing Bo. All right, well, we were gonna come out here and take some pictures with mommy, but the kids wanted to come out with us instead of been freaking out. Like Jackie, but you need songs. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, get the... <laughs> mess. I know. This is my Woodstock. <laughs> okay, hold my hand. Oh my god. So I don't fall. <laughs> it's picture time, and I'm cold. I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. Ready, set. And picture. Are you having fun? <laughs> Such a good jumper. Jump as high as you can. Woo! Woo! Can you do a spin? Woo! Good job. One, two, three, spin! Woo! <laughs> good job. Nice pose at the end. Alan's playing in his little house. Yay! It's freezing out here. Tyler and I came outside to take our 37 week bump date picture because we don't know when we're gonna have this baby at any moment or in like four weeks. <laughs> we don't know, but based off of the contractions I've been having, I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot sooner than later. We put up the board, all the wood is gone, as you can see. Woo! My whole backdrop is gone to take my pictures with this. So we flipped it over so that the white was showing since I have a black shirt on. Hopefully that'll be equally as good. Where's your log splitter? It's over there in the driveway. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's really hot when you do that. <laughs> Ooh. You turn me on, you turn me on. Look at your butt, I'm staring at it. Beep, beep. Are we ready? Operation Get Ready for Baby is in full effect. We are right now yeah, yeah, yeah. pulling down the baby's clothes, getting those washed, and I am cleaning out all of these drawers because this is where we're gonna be keeping all the baby's stuff. Tyler is loading wood. Tyler, you just told Tyler bye. Crock it! Tell daddy bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Wait, bye. Bye. He's telling Tyler bye. Uh, so the kids are watching Zootopia while we get things done. Um, they're also playing sand. The sand has become a very popular thing in our house. So we ended up getting them a purple and a blue one as well so that they know who's is who's. are just old clothes so this should be really really easy to go through oh and we have diapers okay. we are making great progress here let me tell you I clean out every drawer and I listed a bunch of stuff for sale so everything's empty empty that one has diapers in it still I got the bottom drawers empty all this completely empty did I mention yet that they were empty could he be more spoiled Look at you. Look at her. She's like, give me attention. I want attention too. Give me a shake. Good boy. Give me a high five. Good boy. This is his rabies tag. It makes him look like a girl because it's a heart. It looks like a pink <laughs> heart. Look, that's okay, Nitro. We all know you're a boy. Got the fire going. It is a cold, cold night tonight. <laughs> Tyler's making fun of me. It's not funny. I just listed all these for sale. These are my jeans that I don't wear anymore. Somebody help me, please. These are 
called Miss Me Jeans. They're a really nice brand, but I just, I don't wear them anymore, so. Talon, I have this whole pile of shirts here, and some of them I've never even worn. So I listed this for sale, and then we listed the crib for sale because we actually have two four-in-one cribs, and we're only gonna need one, and this one's been kinda used the most, but it's a really pretty mocha color, and the mattress. So I'm gonna take a break from this and clean up the kids' rooms and get them ready for bed, and then I'm gonna come back. So, <laughs> here we go. Isn't this cute? <laughs> <laughs> this brush? Magical. It's the Wet Brush Pro and it is amazing. I've been using it on my hair and I've been using it on her hair and oh, it's perfect. What's so magical about this brush? Like I don't know. It doesn't pull and hurt mm -hmm. and then it gets out all the tangles. It is awesome. I mean, look at her hair. Like, it's all soft and all the tangles are out and I'm just kind of doing, I already brushed the whole thing and then I'm just kind of doing section by section, but usually when she gets out of the bath, I'm sitting here for a while brushing out her hair and I'm almost done. I just have this little section left. So mm. if you guys have tingly hair, like okay. you can meet my Show. mom, you gotta get this. Demonstrate. So she has one tangle right here, pretty much. All right, go ahead, do it. So we just do it in sections and then I usually, whoa, whoa, sorry baby. I usually just kind of hold it like this and then I brush right here and get this tangle out mm. and then I go back up to the top and get it out. It looks and like she, she does like 30 pieces of hair at a time. I wonder why the brush is so magical. I know. <laughs> and she has not complained at all. She has not been like, oh, oh, She's got hey. chips and a movie on. All this hair, no knots. Usually she's got these huge knots right here and it mm -hmm. takes forever. So. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Very cool. So you can get them at Target, but when I went to Target, they were changing all their stuff around so they didn't have the brushes out. But at Ulta, I got it. And if you don't have an Ulta, I'm sure, I bet like Walmart has it or something if Target has it. Right. You just search it. And it wasn't even expensive. It was like a $12 brush. $12 brush. Nitro to $12 brush. You're having a teeth brushing party. Challenge, show us how you brush your teeth. <laughs> show me how you brush your teeth. because everybody is sleeping. Um, Tyler has to get up really early in the morning and go work and the kids are in bed peacefully sleeping. I'm just gonna show you guys uh, the things that are ready. We're gonna be having the baby out here on the couch with me or in the bed with me. So I'll have a basket of stuff in my room but I also wanna have stuff out here because this is where the kids are gonna be playing and eating and I'm just gonna be multitasking up the wazoo. So this first drawer, I got all the diapers in here and I'm not sure how she'll do with these but both of our kids did way better with Huggies than anything else. And we have a ton of Huggies in the garage, but we did get these off-brand diapers for an activity or game that we played during the gender reveal. But some of these, our friends wrote on them little notes to us. Cutest butt ever, worth the smell. <laughs> Put these in here, but if she doesn't do too good with them, I'll just switch them out for the Huggies. And one of our Thompson eyes, who is amazing, gave us these wipes, or she sent them to us. Happy little camper allergenic so I just threw these in here for now and then we also have other wipes around here are some of the essentials we got the baby's box and these this thing is awesome because it fits the baby book perfect because it's obviously the same brand but it also fits all of the baby's pictures and all kinds of other things in there not just the baby book and then my mom got the baby her first blanket this is going to be her baby blanket it is really soft it has some pink and then it has some silver and white and then it says love and silver i really like that this is my going home outfit from the hospital so i have these pants they're really soft very comfortable and loose fitting because that's really what you want and then i got this hoodie that zips up easily it's very comfortable it fits nice but it's still kind of loose which is perfect so that you can easily feed the baby once you leave and you actually feel comfortable our friend gave this to us and since we have the wood floors now we can just lay this out it's lime green like her tea life 
it's very soft and it's great for those times when we just want to lay the baby on the floor and we don't want her to be on the wood floor or just even to have her set up right here and have me hanging out with her on the floor so i thought that this was perfect i might pick out her first outfit from what i have but for both of the other kids i went to the store called h m in the mall and i get an entire set so they sell a lot of disney clothes that have the characters on them I'm thinking of getting that because it comes with like the beanie and the shirt and the pants and it's perfect so if i go get that i'll definitely show you guys but we got all the car seats out so this is going to be the infant car seat which i have to get the head support piece in there i need to go find that i actually think that we sold the pink one with our last car seat and i only have the blue one so i have to put like a big pink bow on her head though people don't think she's the boy and then this is a uh, talon's car seat and journey's new car seat is in the garage so we're going to be getting all those put in the car and all set up i think that's going to do it for me tonight if you guys did enjoy this give it a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed already do that right now we are 85 subscribers away from reaching 5,000. and as you guys know that we've mentioned so many times once we hit that 5,000 mark we're going to post our video that has the letters so you guys can guess what our baby's name is and the first person to guess it correctly is going to win a prize but we have to get to 5,000 subscribers first and leave a comment down below we will see you Hot, 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 hot.